Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for February 18th, 2023. The character is the silent and the modifiers are cursed run. Whenever you defeat a boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with curse key, Dark Strong Parry up to Duvidal. Control Chaos, start with Frozen Eye. At the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the bottom of your drop pile. And big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. Um I think this is good because that means I will have to take rare cards, otherwise I'll have to avoid a lot of them. And I think with the silent I will need ways to get rid of all the curses I'll get. Um so rare cards will be a pre Appreciated. I see Roleplay here in 10th place with 1806 and Mike was 1756, not far behind. Pretty good scores. Reviewing the scores from yesterday, Monkey Bone ended up with 1524 in 16th place, so made it into the top 20. Monkey Bone ended up fighting the same number of elites as I did, um, so just 9. So I assume Monkey Bone took the same path that I did, and as a result, probably was able to get curses. And I also assume was able to protect all the bosses. So yeah, congratulations. That's a pretty good score. Roleplay ended up in 27th with 1475, actually tied with four other people, interestingly. So Roleplay did take the different Different path on Act 3. If you remember, yesterday was a deadly events modifier. I decided to go on the right on Act 3, which gave me three extra question mark rooms against one elite. Um, Vorpal didn't do that. Uh, went on the left, got two guaranteed elites, and as a result, was able to get one extra elite than I did. Um, so that was that also explains why the number of points wasn't a multiple of 25 away. The benefit from Vorpal's pass was that he was able to get an extra shop on the left path. Um, the side effect was that because of the lack of question mark rooms, he wasn't able to get the curses modifier. And then generally, Vorpal's strategy, I think, was focusing more on shivs. At the start, he went for the bl uh, Blade Dance plus Accuracy plus Finisher combination, which I can definitely imagine. Yesterday, I was saying that I can't imagine a different strategy. That was a good strategy. The reason I was so hesitant, well, I guess the reason in retrospect I didn't realize it, it for being a good strategy is because I didn't feel like I saw a lot of other shift cards throughout the run. I feel like I saw mostly uh, purple cards yesterday. Um, but yeah, still, it worked out really well for Vorpal, so congratulations there. All right, then further down at 13, oh, no familiar names in the top 16. Uh, then 1373, you have Pelts here, um, did pretty well. And then I ended up barely making it to top 100 in 91st place with 1330. Uh, I did miss one boss, and I think, um, you know, to get into the top 100, you have to, or to the, to the top 80, you had to probably perfect all the bosses. A few people who missed the top 100... Um, yeah, so you have uh, Malazan, or actually Chef in the Cloud first got 1275, was able to go for Highlander, a few people did that, um, and then, uh, yeah, missed one of the bosses, and uh, interestingly fought 10, 10 elites total, so I assume went the same path that Vorpal did. Mazan had 1229, um, also only got one boss, uh, perfected six out of the eight elites though. Uh, went for Highlander, uh, generally started off with a draw discard deck, um, which again, just like the shift deck, I feel like uh, at the start there might be, it might have been tempting, but then later on there are not that many cards offered that would make, make it very easy. Um, d missed the popper somewhat by accident by taking Apotheosis, which is always one of those cards that it's probably worth r r losing popper over. And then also replayed it one more time, uh, trying to do it differently, but ended up with a worse score. So yeah, still pretty decent. And then you had uh, Andrew with 1225. Um, Andrew generally tried a combination of stand shift Stand shift cards and shift cards, something I didn't consider and might have been a good idea, but end up only perfecting one boss. Was able to get I like shiny though, that's interesting. And then David um, on Twitch died yesterday to the book of stabbing. Uh, now I have to admit, in the same fight, it was close. I might have died as well, but I had the fruit juice uh, potion with the sacred bark that gave me 10 max HP and 10 actual HP, which allowed me to survive. Whereas uh, David had the same potion but didn't have the sacred bark, so as a, as a result, wasn't able to get enough HP and, and just died there so yeah that was that was un unfortunate and then i also want to point out that mr dnd asked why i didn't take choke yesterday and i had a, sh a short comment there a uh, discussion about it um and i think i c wouldn't be surprised if Vorpal took the choke as well just because for a deck where you have things like blade dance and accuracy it might make sense but um i didn't go for that strategy also just so yavos barely missing the top 100 with 1322 all right, let's move on to today's run. So, Curse Run, Control Chaos, and Big Game Hunter. So, the Curse Run relics are Curse Key, gain energy at the start of your turn. One of you open a non boss chest to obtain a curse. Dark Strong Parry up. One of you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. And do it all for each curse in your deck, start each combat with one strength. Uh, you also get Frozen Eye thanks to the Control Chaos. When so viewing the drop pile, the cards are not shown in order. This should allow me to at least know when the curses are coming. I see five elite paths on the far left. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like the last time I had Big Game Hunter, I only had three elites on each deck, but yeah. Uh, let me make sure there's no other five elite path. No, so five elite path on the left. Uh, decent number of question mark rooms. I'm counting four, as well as an early shop. So hopefully I'll be able to buy some good cards there. All right, so um, I can kill one of them. Let's kill the one that's that will make me weaken next turn. Okay. 
And then here I can neutralize Survivor. All right, the extra energy will definitely help on Act 1. Not drawing extra cards, which is what the starter relic for the Silent would do, is a little unfortunate, but I should be fine. All right, Blade Dance is pretty good in a Curse Run um, modifier run, as well as Dagger Spray. Both are decent. I would need Curses, though. I think... Hmm. Well, let's go with Blade Dance. It's a very powerful card. All right, Curse number one, Doubt. And then, obviously, I'm not going to go for uh, Highlander because I might get duplicate uh, Curses. Here, I'll risk it and reload if it's a bad event. And it is a bad event, so let's take... Grim Zash, it's not horrible but it is it is it makes things worse so let's just take the gold for hp instead okay all right got the cultist here let's just um yeah just play all my attacks even though i only have one extra strength it is pretty useful this early on yeah each shift okay well with weakness that benefit is a little less useful but fine I also have to figure out a way i wouldn't mind picking up if i see some discard synergies uh, actually what's coming up next um, poison Stab would allow me to kill, right? Let's say Expertise, and then kill with Poison Stab. Okay. Got a Fire Potion, Accuracy, Flying Knee of Flechettes. I could take, uh, do a Shift Deck and take the Accuracy. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. I, I, yesterday I didn't go for a Shift Deck. Let's try it today. All right. Let me first focus on the cards. Well, let's take Acrobatics is cheap. Deflect is not a bad idea. Endless Agony is fine. I can do Poison Stab. Well, Eight Plants is good too, but then I can't afford a potion. I think instead, let me take Toolbox at the start of each combat. Choose one of three random colorless cards and add the chosen card to your hand. I think it's better than the others. Um, and it might allow me to, uh, you know, maybe get something like Apotheosis or even Mind Blast at the beginning. All right, Lagavulin Transmutation is not a bad idea for turn one. What will I... Uh, wait, can I see what I'm drawing? Yes. So, yeah, I don't think I need to wake it up this turn. Let's do the transportation, sure. And then, um, let's see what I get. Okay, Secret Technique would give me a skill, but it would have to be a zero-cost skill that I don't need to play. I don't think I'll play anything here. I could take the Calculate Gamble, get through my deck faster. Yeah, sure, here, let's do Blind Neutralize, okay? Then I'll Secret Technique the Calculate Gamble, then do Master of Strategy, and then do Calculate Gamble. Okay, so this way I'll be weakened next turn, uh, but that's not the turn I want to attack anyway. Oh, right, that's a lot of Endless Agonies there. Yeah, next turn I can do Envenom, and the turn after that I don't have any block, right? That's the problem. What if I do Backflip now? Then I can do Envenom now as well. Let's do that. Okay. Um. All right, I guess I'll wait. Yeah, I don't see a way to perfect this one, unfortunately. I do have two Phantasm Killers, great. Yeah, next turn I just don't have any block. That's a problem, right? Even if I do well at plants, there's nothing I can keep. What if I do Phantasmal Killer? Could I kill somehow? Not really. I mean, I should try, though. Let's do Phantasmal Killer. And then, well, I uh, might as well do the other Phantasmal Killer, right? Might, might as well play everything here. Okay. Yeah, I would need to deal a lot of damage to be able to kill here. Um, nothing I can burst, right? So if I do Choke, then... Um, wait, how did I get extra energy? Uh, well, I don't think I need burst. Let's do Wally Plants, Flying Knee, Unload. Actually, I didn't realize it. With a Fire Potion, I can perfect this one. Good. Okay, we've got Blue Candle, Unplayable Curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose 1 HP. And exhausted. That's a huge help. After Image Storm or Steel, Tools of the Trade. After Image seems decent. Tools of the Trade might be even better. That would allow me to get rid of some curses. But with the Blue Candle, I don't think I'm too worried about that. Storm of Steel would be very offensive. Let's take the After Image. I think that's more important, especially since I have extra energy. All right, Jawworm here, Flash of Steel, Good Instincts, Dramatic Entrance. I Am I okay taking damage? I have enough block, almost enough block. Uh, Flash of Steel will give me After Mage here. Let's get the Flash of Steel. That way I don't have to worry too much about things. Let's do After Mage, Doubt, and then play the uh, Defense. Okay. Yeah, After Mage will be huge. I will also try to get it upgraded as soon as possible. All right, Accuracy Strike, and then the Poison is not enough. I need one attack at least. All right, uh, here I got a Swift Potion, Skewer, Cloak and Dagger outmaneuver. Let's take the Cloak and Dagger both for the ship and the defense. All right, Sentries here. Impatient, Thinking Ahead, or Deep Breath. I am starting off with After Image. That's great. Um, defend, Neutralize. Yeah, I should be able to fully defend. I don't think I'll be able to play the Impatience. Actually, no, I could. I could, but then I'll get Acrobatics and Accuracy. That might be worth it. Yeah, yeah, let's do the Impatience. All right, then do After Image, Poison Stab, um, you. Then neutralize. Doesn't really matter, right? Let's neutralize somebody else. Okay. 
Oh, but then I can't do well, let's do hang on, I have to do strike, then do the impatience. Unfortunately, I have to play the defend as well to be fully defended. What if I do acrobatics, I'll get deflect, but then can't play anything else. I'd rather keep the deflect for next turn. Yeah, that way I can fully defend next turn. So let's just do the defend here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here, oh, blade dance is great too. Uh, let's do blade dance first. Yeah, too bad I don't have the accuracy. And then oh, I can't kill the backliner. Uh, wait, I can play everything, right? Yeah, let's just do this. Uh, all right, good thing I had the deflect. Okay. I probably should have looked ahead to make sure I can't fully defend this turn. Okay, I can, good. Get rid of this, do Cloak and Dagger, then kill the backliner with a Shiv, and then what about next turn? Next turn, I still have enough defensive cards, so let's target this one for the turn after that. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I have Survivor and Defend. Do I want Expertise? Um, I could try to get the Storm of Steel. Actually, I have Dead Dead next turn. No, I think I'm fine. So let's just do Strike, Strike, and then the Survivor is enough, right? Actually, I can do Expertise to play. No, I won't have energy to play anything. So let's just do Survivor and nothing else. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I should be able to kill with Dead Eye, and then I can do Glass Knife, and uh, Storm of Steel is actually enough to kill, right? Let's do that. Good. All right, perfect. This one too. Got Tori. Whenever you receive five or less unlocked attack damage, reduce it to one. Very nice. As well as a power potion. And I think now I'll take a Storm of Steel. Should I take Alchemize? Might be good, but no. Let's do Storm of Steel. Okay. All right here, I got Curse Number Two, Wraith, as well as Meat on the Bone. If your HP is at or below fifty percent at the end of combat, heal twelve HP. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have the Hexagos, so I can take that. So we strike transportation or violence. Let me see. Um, I think I might go for transportation again. I do violence. It would allow me to play some attacks. Yeah, fine. Let's do violence. Yeah, transmutation might give me something good, but it also might give me crap. Um, let's do violence first. Oof, got grand finale. That's not something I really need. Um, I'll just play accuracy on all attacks. So poison snap, strike, strike, slice. Uh, wait, now I don't have many attacks left. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, six incoming. After image is very useful, and I think I need to play Blade Dance as well. That should allow me... No, that alone is not going to be enough. I have to play Cloak and Dagger as well. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. Actually, that's enough to kill. Good. All right, perfect. Right, right, because that accuracy. Right. Got Molten Egg whenever you add an attack into deck upgraded, which is great. Wraith form is very tempting. Oh, it is very tempting. Die, die, die might be actually better against the slime boss. But no, I think I should take Wraith from that. will definitely help me perfect some of the uh, upcoming fights. Here yeah, I got gold for HP. And then elite number four. So far I'm perfecting everything, right? Madness, Enlightenment, Secret Weapon. I don't think I need any of those. Um, yeah, actually, I, oh, the, the, uh, the problem is that right now I have After Mage and Wraith from it in the same hand. Which I can play, right? Because I have extra energy. So I don't think I'll do anything. Maybe take Secret Weapon to get rid of something. I don't, no, no, I think that's fine. Uh, let's do this and not play anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, ideally I'll draw the Wraith Form one turn later, right? But I think that's fine. Um, let's get rid of this and then play the Accuracy. Okay. So the Wraith Form will only give me one turn of being fully defended. So let's do After Image Wraith Form. I mean, this is still better than nothing. Okay. So now the enemy's awakened. I am fully defended. Because I have accuracy, let's play the shivs. 10 damage each. That's pretty good. Okay. And then next turn, I'm not defended, and I don't have any decks. Um, Calcate Gamble will give me nothing useful, unfortunately. What if I do the Swift Potion? I have some Flying Sleeves. There's Leg Sweep. That's only 9 block with weakness. That might be enough if I can get to it. Um, and I think I can if I do the Swift Potion and then the Calcate Gambles, right? Um... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I could have played the deflect as well. Um, escape plan is going to give me one. Actually, there's another wraith form. No, I don't really need it. I think I'll try to get by without it. Let's uh, double play the leg sweep and then do heal hook. Okay. And then I can do flying knee as well. All right. So I have one more turn of a break and then I have to have killed. Uh, I think I'll do envenom. Glass Knife, Flying Knee, and Dagger Spray for a kill. All right, good. Used one potion to perfect this one. I'm happy with that with a Lantern. So I just come with additional energy as well as another Power Potion. Corpse Explosion might allow me to get the Overkill modifier. Either that or Adrenaline, but I think I'll take the Corpse Explosion. It's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. And then Jawworm and the Louse here. Mind Blast will deal 30 damage, right? Yeah, let's take it. Okay. 
And then Blade Dance should be enough. So let's do Mind Blast 32. Right, right, the extra strength, okay? Then Blade Dance, Poison Stab would kill. Here, let's do two shivs. And then Poison Stab the Backliner. And actually, this is enough to kill. Awesome, that was a turn one kill. Good. All right, Predator, Backflip, Tactician. I have the energy to play the Predator. Let's take it. Backfl or backflip might have been better for block, but I think I can still um, afford to be offensive. Should I take Secret Weapon here? Get maybe a Predator plate? Yeah, let's do it. All right, get rid of this. Do after image. Get the Predator for extra card draw next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. 14. Uh, I do have after image. Should I do Storm of Steel? That will be 6 times 7. That's 42. That is not enough. Uh, what if I do Blade Dance? Then I'll be 36 plus another um, 18. So it'll basically be 6 times 9, which is 54. I think that should be enough. Um, hang on. Let's do Endless Agonies first. Then do Blade Dance. Shiv, shiv, shiv. And then Storm of Steel. Yes, that is exactly enough. Awesome. All right, continuing to perfect everything. Got Anchor Strike come with 10 block, which is nice, and, and, and Tropic Brew, which is also really good. You know what? I think, okay, in between Envenom and Tools of the Trade, let me take Tools of the Trade just because I think in this deck, card draw, discard and draw is much more important. And I also want to upgrade the After Image first, and I think the next upgrade should be the Wraith Form. Okay. All right, Slime Boss, Flash of Steel. Actually, Master Strategy is better for the card draw. All right, let's do after image, neutralize master of strategy. Then I think I'll do accuracy, poison stab, and then storm of steel. All right, not a bad start. Okay. Uh, here, let me be careful not to accidentally transform. So 84, this brings it down to 70. Uh, yeah, I can play one more endless, endless agony. Otherwise, I'll transform now. And hopefully, I'll be able to deal a lot of damage here. Okay, this is not the damage I had in mind. You know what? I think I'll play wraith form here. Because I don't want to transform at this little of value. Now, Cloak and Dagger in middle would be 10 plus 28. No, no. I think if I do Wraith Form and then Predator next turn, that might be better. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do Wraith Form. And um, I can play one... Sh oh, no, no. I can't do the Shiv. Right, right. A Strike would have been... No, actually, I couldn't do a Strike either. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get rid of this. Play the Tools of the Trade, Predator, and Strike. Yeah, I think this is much better split value and I have the Accuracy next turn as well. And I have a Corpse Explosion. That is interesting. Uh, ooh, Flechettes is pretty good. Let's get rid of a Strike. And then I'll do Flechettes for 30 damage. All right. Can I do Corpse Explosion? Yeah, I think I do. I can do Corpse Explosion and Blade Dance. Make my life easier that way. Awesome. All right, perfect everything so far. I am playing a little slower than I'd like. What's the second curse I got? That's a second doubt. I should also sort A to Z so I can uh, try to get some Collector Bonuses. I don't think I need a Dex Potion, Adrenaline, Alchemizer, Doppelganger. Let's go with the Adrenaline. Okay. Hovering Kite is interesting. The first time you discard a card each turn, gain extra energy. I don't think it's necessary, though. I don't think I need Philosopher's Stone. I definitely can't take Velvet Choker. Let's take the Hovering Kite, sure. So that way, the tools of the trade becomes much more valuable, and then things like acrobatics and other discard synergies I can get will be more valuable, too. Unfortunately, no 5 Elite Path here. There is a 4 Elite Path on the right, and none on the left, unfortunately. Yeah, on the left, there are only 3 Elite Paths. That's a bummer. There's also a path without any elites if I really wanted to avoid things. But yeah, I think I have to go on the right. Unfortunately, that one only has one question mark room here. That's really sad. I wonder if I should sacrifice because there is a path with three elites and one, two, three, four, five question mark. You know what? No, no. Let's take the let's maximize elite just because I don't really need curses, right? I'm guaranteed to get the curse modifier anyway, so I don't think I need to you know, artificially try to get more curses. Let's do after image master of strategy here, adrenaline, then accuracy. Okay, get rid of the curses. Actually, I don't need to. I thought I'll, I'll have to get rid of them to um, gain enough block, but I am already fully defended. Okay. I guess I should have gotten rid of the doubt, so I'm not weakened. That is, that is something I will continue to do. Double defend, double strike. Okay, here I'm taking a little bit of damage. I guess I am lacking some strong damage cards, so that might be a problem. Uh, never mind. Corpse Explosion does help me here. Oh, actually, it's not enough to kill the backliner, so let's... I have to do this. Good. All right. Prepare Dagger Spray, Dodge and Roll. I think now I have enough strength for the Dagger Spray to be very valuable. Let's take it. Mm -hmm. And then Shield Parasite. Yeah, starting off with Mind Plus, not a bad idea. 28. Yep, not bad. Let's do that. Then After Image, Accuracy, get rid of the Doubt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Let's do acrobatics. Get rid of the other doubt. Then adrenaline. All right. Dagger spray. Yeah, let's do dagger spray. 
strike, strike, and then I can fill the defend. Okay, I really should pick up more offensive cards. I feel like I'm drawing defensive cards too often. Um, Alright, so here let's do Corpse Explosion, Cloak and Dagger, and Blade Dance. Because I have accuracy, that should be enough to kill. Good. Got an attack push, which I don't think I'll take. Bane, Dash, Outmaneuver. Outmaneuver is a decent defensive card. Let's take that. Hmm. Wait, did I say Outmaneuver? I meant Dash. Dash is a decent defensive card. So there's Nature thinking ahead or Flash of Steel. Let's take the Flash of Steel for some card draw. And then I can do After Image, Corpse Explosion, Flash of Steel. Yeah, I don't think I need the Wraith Form. I think I can get by without it. Uh, let's do a strike here. Probably don't need to get rid of the Wraith. Hmm. All right, so here let's do Dash, Accuracy, and Shiv. And as soon as I can kill this one, I, uh, the backline will be dead as well. Hmm. So Adrenaline, Poison Stab, and just play the attacks. Okay. All right, uh, Bane, Finisher, Footwork. I am worried I don't have enough attacks for Finisher to be worth it, but it is pre-upgraded, and I have, I do have the battle, um, not the battle, the Blade Dance. So those two things together should be enough. Let's take Master of Strategy again here. I'll do After Image, Master of Strategy, Adrenaline. Okay, Tools with the Trade is nice. I can, I don't even need, need to weaken. You know what, let's get the bird to the ground by doing here, Neutralize, Strike, Strike. And then do Predator, that way I just don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then here, get rid of the Doubt. Um, I'll do Dagger Spray, Blade Dance. Okay. Then Acrobatics. Ah, there's the Finisher, that's what I like to see. I can do Poison Stab and kill with the Finisher. Awesome. Alright, got a Blessing of the Forge. I'm happy with the potions, I don't think I'll take others. Storm of Steel, Bouncing Flash, Deadly Poison. I could go for a second Storm of Steel. More than one isn't super important, but I have accuracy, so it's not a bad idea. Am I getting attacked here? I am. And I do have Wraith from those. So I could play the Enlightenment. Not that I really need it. Uh, Hand of Greed. I wouldn't be able to afford Hand of Greed. Fine, let's do Enlightenment. And then after Mitch, Enlightenment. Um, yeah, let's do Wraith from. Just makes my life easier. Although, yeah, actually, I could have come up with enough block. Yeah, fine. I'm not being attacked, so that was a wasted Wraith form. Let's get rid of this, then do Poison Snap Neutralize. Okay. Ooh, that might be a problem, because now I'm not intangible no more, uh, anymore, and I don't have enough decks. Um, let's do Corpse... Should I do Storm of Steel? No. Oh, Survivors. Yeah, let's do Corpse Explosion and Storm of Steel. And then play the Shivs. Oof. Okay, taking a bit of a beating here. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, another Storm of Steel. Let's do Dagger. No, Shivs first, then Dagger Spray. Um, and then Strike, and then one more Shiv. That even, even, didn't even get through the block there. But I just need very little. Yeah, this is enough to kill. Okay, rough fight there. Concentrate, Outmaneuver, Bane. Um, so Concentrate would give me extra, well, lots of energy, but I don't really need energy. Let's take the Outmaneuver. Not that I really need energy, but Outmaneuver might work. All right, Gremlin Leader, who is attacking me on turn one. I am not drawing enough defensive cards. No, well, blind would help. Okay, let's take the blind. All right. Okay, so do after Mitch, then blind. Um, so I have to defend against 20. I have 20. Okay, good. Yeah, let's play these and then outmaneuver. Now, unfortunately, I'll be weak in next turn, but I think I should be fine. Mm hmm. And then here, I could do Wraith Form. Let me see if the Power Potion gives me something good. 1,000 Cuts might work here. Let's take a 1,000 Cuts. Should I do Venom? No, let's take a 1,000 Cuts. And then I am worried I have to do Wraith Form. All right. Then do Accuracy, get rid of this, and then Dash. Okay. And play another card to deal more damage. All right. So next round, I'm guaranteed to be attacked, but I also will be intangible. Um, so here, two Storm of Steels, that's great. Um, alright, let's do Poison Stab. Is that enough? If I do Storm of Steel, that's two, and then I play three. Yeah, that is exactly enough block, good. And then I won't worry about the minions. Let's target the... Should I start to worry about the minions? Um, yeah, I should, I should kill the minions, that way I won't be weakened next turn. Okay. And I'm losing decks and I don't have any uh, intangibility anymore. Let's do Blade Dance, Cloak and Dagger, and then play my attacks. Still have a lot of damage I have to get through. My only hope is... Oh, I should have played another card. My only hope is that the Power Potion will give me another Wraith Form if I get attacked. Predator is pretty good. That will kill you. And then a Strike is almost enough to kill you. I can do Finisher or Tools of the Trade. Let's do... Let's do Deflect and then Finisher. Okay. I'm not that far off from being able to kill. 
And luckily I'm not being attacked. That's a huge help. All right, let's do Adrenaline. Then the Endless Agonies. Yeah, I, sh I think I should be able to kill here. Good. Okay. Perfect this one. We got the Courier, the Merchant, the Strux, Cash Relics, and the Potion. And all prices are, re are reduced by 20%. That's really good. In Venom, Glass Knife, or 1,000 cuts. I don't think I'll take 1,000 cuts into my deck. In Venom might be fine, but Glass Knife, with all the extra strength I have, I think is way too powerful not to take it. I think next I should definitely upgrade the uh, Wraith form. Yeah. That way I have one extra turn of intangibility, which hopefully will help. Book of Stabbing with Mind Blast or Apotheosis. I do have 21 incoming, although I also have a dash, and I have Wraith Form. Ugh. Okay, maybe I'll take... Well, if I do Apotheosis, I won't be able to play everything. But I think Apotheosis is better going forward. What if I do Master Strategy? No, no, I think I'll do Apotheosis. Alright. Actually, wait, no, I, I miscalculated that. I still can't play everything, right? Because I have to do... Do I have to do After Mitch and Wraith Form? Yeah, I do. Next turn, I don't have enough block. All right, fine. Let's do after Mitch Wraith form, and then unfortunately, I won't be able to play the Apotheosis, which is unfortunate, but fine. Gives me two turns to at least the Wraith form gives me two turns. Let's get rid of this. Do the Endless Agony Strike and Finisher. I was hoping the Finisher would deal a little bit more damage than it did. All right, last turn of Intangibility, Cloak and Dagger, Blade Dance. Play the Shivs, and then um, yes, yeah, uh, Strike and Storm of Steel for another Shiv. Okay. No more intangibility. Can I defend against 21? Or can I kill? This is 30. Um, let's try this. So 30. Then dagger sprays 18. I can do neutralize and kill with a strike. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Got ceramic, ceramic fish. When we add a card to deck, gain 9 gold. As well as malaise is pretty powerful. I could take another storm of steel, but I think I'll go with the malaise. That's, that's pretty good. Got injury as well as question card, future card awards, and one additional card to choose from. Okay. And then slaver serum. Thinking at panic button violence, I might need the panic button. I don't have any block coming up. I will also have to kill if I play the panic button. What if I take violence? I don't know what I'll get if I take violence. The turn after I have corpse explosion though, so I have some hope. Let's do this. And then I'll do after image accuracy, get rid of this. And then predator, strike, and panic button. Oh, actually, the Corpse Explosion alone is not going to be enough either, right? Because the Backliner doesn't have a lot of block. Um, here, let's do Corpse Explosion, Dagger Spray. That together is enough. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Thanks for that panic button. We got a Mori Negate. The next two curses you obtain. I am guaranteed to get three more curses. Um, so that means I'll get one guaranteed curse. That'll give me uh, six max XP, being my max XP to 100. I could reasonably take this. I don't. I feel like I'm okay with the strength I have. I don't necessarily need more. You know what? Yeah, let's take this. Or more negate the next curse to obtain. Why not? We also have a gamma root that I don't think I'll take. And then I don't think unload is fine. Doesn't work well with the storm of steel. Uh, storm of wait, storm of steel. Yeah, storm of steel. Um, should I take doppelganger instead? Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Let's take Doppelganger here. I feel like I have enough offensive cards already. This would give me one collector bonus at the loss of max HP. Now, if I had this before the Omori, I wouldn't have taken it. I also don't want the bite, so let's... Er, I, I, it might be hard if I take this to get enough max HP, so I'm not going to take it. I'm substituting the 25 points I'll, I would have gotten. Let's upgrade the Malaysia first. Substituting the 25 points from getting a collector bonus with the 25 points I'll get from having enough max HP, I think. Now, again, if I didn't have Omori, this would have been different. I do have 12 incoming. I think I should be fine. Um, let's do after which I don't even think I'll do uh, Wraith from here. Again, I think I should be fine without it. Okay. And so far, note that I barely have used the Hovering Kite, but that's fine. I mean, I really didn't need any of the other relics, so might as well. I should do Accuracy here. I will take... Actually, you know what? No, let's preserve HP. There's no reason to take damage. Okay. Especially since I should be able to kill this one with something like... Well, let's do Acrobatics first. Then... Um, Poison Stab, Glass Knife. Um, I can do one strike, and then let's do Storm of Steel. Awesome. Okay, we've got an Attack Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Another Predator, Cr Crippling Cloud, Leg Sweep, or another Acrobatics. Let's take the other Acrobatics, just because I already have Hovering Kite. And extra card draw is always nice. And then Gremlin Leader, one more time. This time, I'm not being attacked, so let's take Secret Weapon. Um, let's do After Image. Do I have some EOE damage? Not really. Well, no, never mind. I have Dagger Spray. All right, let's do that. That kills the minions. Then strike, cloak and dagger, shiv. Okay. 27. Yeah, perfect timing with the wraith form. And I can fill the defend with the endless agonies and a poison stab. Don't need to play the defend. Okay. 
All right, now I'm being summoned, or the yeah, enemy summoning things. So let's do strike and finisher. Okay, and then hopefully I get attacked this turn. That way I'll use the vulnerability, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, intangibility. So let's do accuracy, adrenaline, tools of the trade, acrobatics gives me energy. All right, I think I'll just do glass knife and dash. Now, unfortunately, next turn I'll be weakened, but I think I should be close to killing. Just need any attack card to kill, right? Mm-hmm. And then here I got something like Predator. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one too. I haven't used a single potion, I think, in all of Act 2 so far, right? Maybe maybe in one. Yeah, actually, well, I'm not sure. We got Sandal every three times to shuffle drop. I get two extra energy. So it's a block potion. Uh, which of these potions do I want to give up for a block potion, which I might need? All of these are good. Fine. Let's risk going without a block potion. I'll take a third Storm of Steel. Okay. And then here I should upgrade, maybe upgrade the Adrenaline now. Extra energy. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Storm of Steel upgrades might be nice too, especially if I have accuracy played, right? Okay, so for the Collector, let's start off with Might Blast, and then I will drink the Power Potion right off the bat. And Venom is pretty good. Noxious Screams might be fine, but let's go with the Venom. And then I'll do Might Blast after Image. Let me see what the Acrobatics gives me. Okay, and then I can do Adrenaline. Ooh, Malaise is very tempting. I think I'll do Predator first, though, then do Malaise. Okay, not a bad start. And I have the Liquid Memory, so that should allow me to bring stuff back that I'll urgently need. Okay, so let's do Dagger Spray. Um, neutralize the back is already weakened, so I don't think I really need that. Um, what about Storm of Steel? Hang on, I do have to defend, so I think I have to use the Liquid Memories to maybe get a dash back. Let's do that. Okay. And then if I do that, I'll have 25 incoming. This is not enough block. Unless I kill one of the torchets, which I think I should be able to. So let's neutralize you. So now 16. Yeah, I'm fully defended. So as long as I can kill the other one. I think I'll just do Storm of Steel here, right? Should I do Outmaneuver? Uh, next turn, I do have Wraith Form in case I need to. Um, and Storm of Steel. Yeah, I don't think I need Outmaneuver. So let's just do Storm of Steel now. And then I'll do Shift. Actually, if I have Wraith Form next turn, I don't need to get rid of the minions. Yeah, fine. Let's target the backliner. Oh, wait. No, I need to... Uh oh oh. Did I miscalculate? Hang on. So I have 16 plus 7 is 23. I miscalculated. I don't have enough. Um, I can do shivs though, right? That's 9 plus another 9 is 18 and there are already two poison. Yeah, 9. Yeah, this is exactly enough. Okay, good. Phew. Mm -hmm. All right, so the backline is summoning. I could avoid playing the wraith form, but no, let's not risk it. Let's do wraith form. Should I do corpse explosion? It would deal a lot of damage. But this turn, right? It will kill before the enemy summons. So I'll be stuck with more torch heads for the future. Yeah, maybe maybe let's not do Corpse Explosion. Let's do Wraith Form, and then I'll do Storm of Steel. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm intangible here. Not that that's super useful. Let's do Poison Stab, Strike. I will play the Accuracy for future shifts. Do I have any shift cards coming up? Well, there's a Storm of Steel coming up soon. Fine, let's do Accuracy and then Finisher. Actually, I'm not that far off from being able to kill. And I have one more turn of Intangibility. Although now I'll get a bunch of debuffs, including Weakness. Yeah, that makes it a little harder. And I'm not being attacked. Great. All right, let's do the Endless Agonies. Um, and then a Strike. And just hope for the best next turn, because next turn I have negative three decks. I'm not that far off from being able to kill, though, right? So I think I should be fine, even with the block. Uh, let's get rid of one of the doubts, and then I think I'll just do Storm of Steel. Yeah, Glass Knife first, and then Storm of Steel. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, um, I'm not sure if the potions were super necessary. They did help, though. We got a Cunning Push, which is great, and Venom, Glass Knife, After Image, Adrenaline. I could take a second After Image, or a second Glass... No, let's take a second Adrenaline. Yeah, it might be a little difficult to get, um, what do you call it, the uh, Collector bonuses here. I don't have many. Now, Sacred Park is really good. Calling Bell might be better, though. It might give me a really good Rare Relic. I'm looking for Dead Branch, particularly. Wrist Blade is not bad either, though. I think all of these are really good. Let's get, take the Calling Bell up and pick up, obtain, obtain a unique Curse and three Relics. So I got Curse of Bell. Actually, I didn't get Curse of Bell because of Mori. But I got a Strawberry. I can pick up Race from Extra by 7. Kunai, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Dexterity. And then Unseen Top is actually really good. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. That makes the Storm of Steel so much better. Because every time I play the Storm of Steel, I trigger the Hovering Kite. So I have extra energy, but then usually nothing to play with it. All right, only four elites, right? Four elites on the left, four elites on the right. No five elite path, unfortunately. So if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. 
If I go on the right, I'll get an early shop and then one, two, three, four question mark rooms. So the question is, do I want to substitute a question mark room for a shop? And I think I do. I have a lot of gold and I have courier. So I desperately need a shop. I will miss a question mark room that way, but I think that's fine. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I have to take the path on the right just for the shop. There's a chance that on the left, one of those question mark rooms would have been a shop, but I don't want to risk it not being that. Um, so Storm of Steel is fine. I guess I'll do, I don't know, trip, sure. All right, let's do after image accuracy. I don't think I even will play the trip. Let's do Storm of Steel. And then do shift one, shift two, shift three. Let's see what I draw. Storm of Steel again. That was unfortunately very useless. Adrenaline is good. And uh, here, let's just do Corpse Explosion. Yeah, that way, as soon as this one dies, it'll kill everything else. Mm -hmm. I would ideally like to help it dying, though. So let's do Predator. Good. Okay. All right. Masters have Riddle Withholds Distraction. I do have plenty of strength for Riddle Withholds to be really useful. Sneaky Strike is not bad either. Let's take the Riddle Withholds, though. Yep. Pretty strong attack there. And then here... Uh, I need to lose any of these. I need acrobatics. I'm probably okay losing the tools of the trade as much as I liked it. Um, because I have a blue candle, I don't really need to get rid of curses as badly. That's like master strategy here. All right, let's play that first. Probably should have done uh, after image first, then adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I could do doppelganger. Um, let's do neutralize first, then blade dance. Okay. And then I'll do acrobatics. You know what? Let's do Dagger Spray and then Storm of Steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably should have counted cards. How many cards, cards did I play already? Because I feel like that's it's been a lot of cards. I wonder if I should do the Cunning Push to get the... Hang on, this is turn one, right? Let me calculate this real quick. So I exhausted uh, 12 cards and I discarded 13. That's 25. But then of those discards, uh, one wasn't played. No, no, I played Storm of Steel. Ah, this is going to be annoying to calculate. All right, um, you know what? Just to be safe, actually, if I drink the Swift Potion, I can only play two cards. All right, I hope I didn't play 18 cards here because then, obviously, the Cunning Potion would have allowed me to perfect, but I don't think it was that many. And so Adrenaline here, hope for some good attacks. I can do Strike and Riddle Withholds or a Kill. Okay. All right, Escape Plan, I'll attack another Riddle Withholds or Outmaneuver. Let's take the Riddle Withholds. Another, or first Escape Plan would not have been a bad idea. Okay, let's go crazy in the shop. Let's first take the Ori up and pick up, choose and add five cards to your deck. Oh, should I have done the, hang on, should I take the uh, Skill Potion, uh, the, the Toxic Egg? Do I need upgrades that badly? No, no, I think I'll focus on cards instead. Wait, did I, hang on, did I skip all the, Oh no, it skips all the... I thought I could I could just leave the screen and come back to the Ori cards, but no, that was a mistake. Let's definitely let's definitely not skip over these. Okay, so Cloak and Nagger, Slice, Catalyst, Backflip. Probably another Cloak and Nagger. Let me review the deck first, though. Another Acrobatics would be great. Another Adrenaline, Backstab. I don't think I need Backstab that badly. Another Brutal Withholds is not a bad idea. And here, a third Cloak and Nagger. All right, let's take Cloak and Nagger here and here. Then here, I'll take the Acrobatics. That'll be my third, right? Yep. And then here, let's do a second Adrenaline. And then here, I think I'll take a second Riddle Withholds. Okay, that's pretty good. And then here, I, there was a Backstab. I did notice that, but I don't think I'll take it. Uh, well, you know what? Let's take it because it's cheap and it'll allow me to see what else I get. Endless Agony is fine. Quick Slash is not bad for card draw. All right, two of them. Sucker Punch is fine. Another Sucker Punch. A Dash. Okay, this is a nice chain here. I wonder if I get collector bonuses out of this. Haven't seen any so far. Another slice. Glass knife is expensive. Yeah, should I take... I should be fine in, in terms of relics, right? I don't think I need Sneko Skull or I could be... Go fine, let's do the glass knife. Okay, all right, not bad. And wait, how many sucker punches? I got two. All right, let's take a third one. There's a chance I might get a collector bonus out of that. Okay, that was a pretty nice shop. Yeah, Courier does make all the shops very nice. All right, uh, definitely want to see if I can get a Mind Blast here. Panic Button is pretty good. Uh, Impatient Seeker Technique, they're all fine. Okay, no Mind Blast. Don't want Dramatic Entrance. It will make my turn one a little worse. And I do have Dono Deca, but I think it's worth it. Let's do Dramatic Entrance here. Here I'll take Seeker Technique because mostly I don't need the others. And then here let's take the Panic Button. Okay. All right, Giant Head. Um, am I, I am being attacked. I should be fine. Let's take a Seeker Technique here. All right, let's do after image, uh, then get rid of the wraith. Uh, too bad I can't do both finisher and storm of steel. 
I don't have anything amazing coming up. Uh, let's do Secret Technique, the Adrenaline for extra energy. Then do another Secret Technique for another Adrenaline for even more energy. Okay, you want? Know let me count cards here. Actually, I have a nice counter here. I played six cards already. All right, how long can I keep going after this? I should be fine for a while. Yeah, let's do Dramatic Entrance twice. Backstab. And then um, finishes 36. That's not as much damage as I'd like. Uh, let's do Cloak and Dagger. Okay. Then play the shift, do Storm of Steel. All right, I'm up to 15 cards here. Neutralize is great. Dash does cost a lot of energy. And then here I'm wasting another Storm of Steel. Sucker Punch, and then 20 cards without even using the Cunning Potion. All right, 21 cards just for good measure. Okay, good turn. Very happy with that. So I got the combo modifier, just need the overkill modifier now. Let's do quick slash, riddle with ults is pretty good. I think I'll do cloak and dagger to make the riddle with ults a little stronger. 55 damage, okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, get rid of this, play this, do these. And then glass knife and riddle with ults for 50. Yeah, almost enough to kill. Oh, I forgot about the unseen top, but that's fine. I didn't have any energy left anyway, and I can kill here. Good. All right, perfect. This one I got Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn. Gained 14 block, a flex potion, and uh, a third adrenaline, right? Yeah, I have... Oh, no, wait, that's a collector bonus for adrenaline. All right. Okay. I think that's my first collector bonus, right? Might be. All right, next upgrade. Should that be... Um, yeah, I think I'll start upgrading these Storm of Seals. I just need to make sure I don't draw them. I, I don't draw into them with the unseen top. Okay, Nemesis, Dark Shackles, Trip Discovery. I am being attacked, so Dark Shackles would allow me to defend. Actually, it would help me defend, so let's take the Dark Shackles. Then do After Image, play that, get rid of the Doubt, Dramatic Entrance, and Backstab. Okay. Ooh, I should have kept going. I should have played the Wraith. That was a mistake. Yeah, I could have kept going for quite some time, too. Uh, I think I'll do Malaise here. Yeah, might as well. Don't really have anything else to play. Okay. Right, so negative 5 Strength and 5 Turns of Weakness. I only have 30 incoming here. Does that allow me to defend? Uh, well, if I do dash and cloak and dagger, um, hmm, gets me close, but it's not enough. Um, what if I do, if I play the cunning potion, that's only three extra block. Yeah, I don't have enough. Let me, okay, just out of curiosity, I do want to see if I could have perfected if I used the unseason top on turn one. Yeah, that was, I, I'm going to count that as a mistake. Because I feel like I should have been able to go on for quite some time. But let's give it a try. Um, endless Agonies are good. Then Adrenaline is really nice. Gives me extra energy. Let's bring back another, actually, the upgraded Adrenaline for more energy. All right, Dash, Deflect, Defend. Okay, I have a bunch of block this turn. Not that I really need it. Doppelganger. Okay, this stops my... Okay, fine, fine. All right, then the next turn I was not getting attacked. Um, which is unfortunate because I have a great hand here. Look at this. All right, well, might as well play things. Uh, actually, I do want to do Odd Maneuver for next turn. Then do the Shivs. More Shivs. I do have a Finisher here too, right? I think I'll do Predator for extra card draw. And then um, I can't do Malaith and Finisher. Let's do Finisher first. That's only 12 damage, right? I'm not sure why I played that. Fine. Mm -hmm. Now here I have the big attack incoming. 31 this time because I didn't remove enough strength. And yeah, there's still nothing I could do, right? Well, hang on. Can I kill here? I do have some good cards coming up. Let's drink the Flex Potion and see if I can just kill. Let's do Acrobatics, get rid of the Injury. Then do Dagger Throw, get rid of the Expensive Master Stab. Sucker Punch, Slice. Actually, Riddle with Holes is enough damage. Yeah. All right, perfect this one with a Reload. We got Strike Dammy cards containing Strike Deal, three additional damage. As well as I removed the only tools of the trade I had, right? Fine, let's give in and take the Alchemize. I think it's the third one I was offered to me. We got Shame as well as Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. That's really good. It allows me to draw three extra cards on turn one because of that Wraith. Yep, there's Mind Blast, which is good. Um, only 70 damage. Actually, I might get the Overkill modifier here with the slow debuff, right? Let's try to make that work. All right, I have... I am making the Mind Blast weaker by... Oh, wait, it's up to 92. Never mind. Let's do Adrenaline. 105. Yeah. Do I want to get it even stronger? Let's try that. Get rid of this. Then do Dramatic... Oh, wait, I'll... Wait, no, I didn't have Ekebika. For some reason, I thought I had it. So now it's 122. Um, I think I'll do Predator, Flying Knee. Uh, yes, Flying Knee, and then Mind Blast 436. Okay. All right, so I got both combo and overkill. That's good. Actually, both against the Giant Head. Different fights, though. All right, so here let's do Dagger Throw. Then um, I don't think I need Wraith Form. Let's do Glass Knife, Quick Slash. And then I think I'll do Slice Strike and Rooter Withholds. 
I hope I don't need Wraith Form. Hmm. Alright, 12 incoming. Get rid of the Doubt. I do have Dash to be able to fully defend. I don't think I can kill here, right? Yeah, not yet. So let's do Dash and then Riddle with Holds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked, that's good. Let's do Cloak and Nagger, play the Shiv, Endless Agonies, and that's enough to kill. Nice. All right, got Stone Calendar at the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies, as well as the Distal Chaos Potion, and another Storm of Steel. How many did I have? I had three. All right, that's another Collector Bonus. Good. Mm -hmm. And then here, I could take another Curse. Yeah, I don't mind it. Sure, let's take it. Okay. And then just a Reptomancer here, Panic Button, Hand of Breach, Sadistic Nature. I, I think I can... No, let's take Sadistic Nature, that way I can try to get the Unseason top going here. Let's do After Image, Dramatic Entrance, Sadistic Nature, Backstab. Oh, uh, should I have... Actually, I have a dash, I should be fine. Maybe I should play a Corpse Explosion. Yeah, that would kill both minions, okay? And then I can do dash here, alright? I already have Overkill, so I don't need the Corpse Explosion for that. Let's do Cloak and Dagger, get rid of this, another Cloak and Dagger, then play the sh two shifts to kill the backliner, and then deflect. I'm already fully defended. If I do Predator, I'll draw Riddle with Holds, which is unfortunate that I can't play it, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. 30 incoming. Get rid of these two. Then Endless Agony, Dagger Spray, Poison Stab, and then I should be able to kill here. Good. Okay, perfected everything. I think about singable. When adding cards into deck, you may raise your max speed by two instead. Not really necessary. Do I want to call this potion? No, I'm happy with the potions I have. And then I already have enough adrenalines, right? So I don't need that. Let's take a malaise. Sure. Okay. And then Spire Growth here, who is not or is attacking me, but I think I should be fine. Let's take the Mind Blast. After image, mag entrance, backstab, Mind Blast. Okay. And then let's get rid of this and this. And I think I'll just do Predator. It's a lot of damage for one turn. And then here, let's do Storm of Steel. It'll give me extra energy and make it easier to kill. Okay. Got a Blessing of the Fortress. I don't think I'll take. Bane, Dodge, and Roll, Flying, Neo Tactician. I don't have any of these. I'll take the... F Actually, I don't need to, but I'll take the Flying, flying Knee. Sure. And then this is the last event before the boss fight, so I will lose all my gold to get the Red Mask at the Starvage Combat. Apply one week to all enemies, which is fine. Okay. And then last upgrade... I don't think I'll be the accuracy. I think I'll upgrade. Yeah, let's continue upgrading the adrenalines. Okay. All right, so. Don't know Decca. Good in six, trip or jack of all trades. Good in six will make it a little easier to defend on turn one and to start a chain with unseason top. So let's take it. All right, so let's do after image good instincts. Get rid of the curses. Okay. Get rid of the doubt. And then dramatic entrance, backstab, predator, cloak and dagger, shiv. And then Quick Slash will draw me Sucker Punch, which I'm okay not playing. All right. Mm -hmm. 26. I have 14 already. Get rid of this. Do Adrenaline. Definitely want to do Dagger Spray, right? Okay. Then Cloak and Dagger might be necessary. Let's do Dash. Uh, that. Not Dash. And then should I do Sucker Punch? Yeah, I think I'll do Sucker Punch um, you. Then Glass Knife and then Riddle with Holds. Yeah, so the backline is almost dead. Okay. 26. Okay, I can do a free acrobatics. I probably don't need that maneuver, though. I might have trouble defending, though. What's coming up next? Nothing super useful. I think I might do Storm of Steel to try to get to the panic button faster. Well, might as well do Endless Agonies first. Okay. Alright. Um, and then, yeah, let's do Storm of Steel. Play the Shivs. Okay, then Quick Slash, Sucker Punch, and then there's the Panic Button. It's exactly what I need in this situation. I don't think... Actually, you know, no, I will play the Cloak and Dagger, but I only will play one shift because I do want to keep the Storm of Steel for next turn. Mm -hmm. Mostly because next turn I'll draw into the Finisher if I don't play the Adrenaline, right? So, yeah, so let's do Slice, Storm of Steel, play the Shivs, then do the Riddle with Holes, and then Finisher should be enough to kill. And I made it under 45 minutes. I'm very happy with that. I thought I was playing slow, but I guess with 7 extra strength, uh, you can go pretty fast. And then um, I also had... Uh, wait, I'm confused. 7... Yeah, I also had the Omomori, uh, which means I could have had 9 uh, Curses if I really wanted to. Alright, um, this is a pretty good score. 1806, I'm very happy with that. So out of the 
Yeah, I perfected everything. Out of the 13 elites perfect, all of them got beyond perfect overkill combo. I was able to cut cursors, obviously. I think everybody would have gotten that. Same with stuffed. I'm very happy I didn't go for the bites. Um, there might be a chance I might have gotten uh, extra points from the collector bonus, but I think I don't think I would have been able to get stuffed. So I'm happy with that. And also the bites would have made my deck, I think, a little worse. Um, yeah, the unseasoned top helped. The collector bonus I got on rare cards, right? It's the adrenaline. Uh, three, com com uh, three, four copies of that. Uh, Storm of Steel, and I guess Royal Withholds is not a rare card, but yeah, very happy with that. Um, I like Shiny Money Money and Light Speed. No, I think this is a pretty solid score. I can't really think of a way to improve it other than getting lucky and getting more collector bonuses. Yeah, as I predicted, I'm 10th place. Actually, I tied Vorpal. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if me and Vorpal had exactly the same thing because uh, that seems like pretty much a ceiling. And there's one person with two points more that just could be substituting a regular uh, crush mark room with a regular fight. But then there's no other scores that's sort of 25 or uh, 50 points apart. And then I think on the top you have uh, sort of glitched runs. Actually, I know this runner here is uh, not doing uh, legit scores uh, usually. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy here. I also see Miriam Gaming here with uh, exactly 25 points less. So it just could be a missed collector bonus or something else. And then Mike has 50 points less. Again, could be missed elites. I do have to admit the elites on Act 1 were... I got very lucky in, in, in being able to perfect them, so I can imagine some not being able to do that. But you know what? In my big, in my book, me and Vorpal are tied for first place. Let me know in the comments if you were able to get a higher score or if you did something differently. Um, but yeah, today was a fun run. I mean, these are, these are some really good rare cards that were offered early on, and then the relics definitely help. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.